I am cleaning my dollhouse. As if I don't clean my own house, now I'm cleaning the dollhouse. I'm doing a, a um, little short video for children on our library website that is going to have um, a tour of the dollhouse, but we're going to shrink ourselves to go inside the dollhouse. So I thought I would show you what it looks like before we get started. This is a, um, maybe I'll walk around and show you the front first. It does not normally sit in my kitchen, but the lighting's better. And there's the dog. Every time I film, she decides it's an... You are about to see me in a total mess. My face is so broke out. Wah, how embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> you've got to check out the clothing attire because I'm getting ready to paint. You can see I have splattered paint on this so many times before. And here's the funny thing. The elastic is shot on these pants. <laughs> so if I walk around too fast, I lose them, which could be embarrassing. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be painting. I'll show you what I'm in the middle of doing. There is the paint and the rollers and I'm going to be painting all of my doors. They don't look bad from a distance but they have not been painted since we bought the house 11 years ago and I have scrubbed them like around the door handle here to the point they're just they can't be scrubbed anymore and some of the paint has actually come down all the way down to the uh, like whatever this is made of it's not real wood some kind of composite so yeah, I'm going to be painting that. I am hoping I can match the paint enough that I don't have to paint all of the baseboards throughout the house because that's going to really stink. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm just doing the downstairs and if I count the front and the back surfaces of a door, I mean this is a this is a closet door. This is our coat closet right there. So I'm, I'm not painting the back side of it. That's kind of silly. But doors that, you know, like our bedroom door and stuff there, you can see the dirt right along here. That it just doesn't come off anymore. Um, yeah, if I paint the front and the back surfaces of the doors we go in and out, like this is a little powder room door. So i got to paint the front and the back. If I count the surf, all the surfaces, I've got, I think I counted 14 surfaces just on the first floor. I don't think I'm going to be doing the upstairs because we really don't go up there that often. Um, our master bedroom's on the first floor. So upstairs is the the craft cave, the spare bedroom, and the upstairs bathroom and a closet. So um, the doors up there don't look bad. This is the ones we use all the time. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be busy for a while. So yeah, Dave pulled all the stuff out for me, and he's busy doing some other things, so I'm going to get started with this. Now well, here is my pile of stuff from the fashion show last week. And here is what I'm going to put it into, right there. And it's on rollers, so that should be good. And then it's going to go into my closet. So I'm going to work on getting this together and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Now that my closet, now that my closet's completely, well my side of the closet, we won't talk about Dave's side, but we'll talk about my side, which starts right there where my pink nightgown is and we'll work my way around and I'll show you how I got it organized. So up top, this right here, well there's, there's luggage along the top here. That's our travel stuff, so it's like little little bags, like overnight bags, and I've got like our travel, um, like toothpaste and, you know, toothbrush covers, all that kind of stuff. All that lives in there. And then over here, this is some organizing supplies, and the rest of this stuff is in here. I like to organize things. It drives Dave a little crazy, but, you know, I like it to be nice and neat. And there's our computer bags and our CPAP bags are right there. Those are some hats. 
And then over here, that is the pocketbook collection that I showed the other week. So then we move down here, and these are my sweaters. Not all of those are homemade. Uh, the ones that are, are this one, this one, uh, this one, and I'm wearing a tan, I'm wearing my brown one. Well, I'll turn it around, you can see what I'm wearing. And this is the one I'm wearing. This is the flax light. I wear this a lot, because it's comfortable. Then over here, I've got like, like shirts that have to be hung up, like cotton stuff, and some twin sets, and some pants. And then over here, and then down here, I'll show you how I've got my shawls and everything organized. So this drawer here is like lightweight summer type of shawls or shawlettes. They're not stuff you would necessarily wear around your shoulders. They're more to be worn in the front. And there's some cotton stuff like um, my kerchief cowls are in here. You know, things like that. More lightweight things. I'll get to the rest of my shawls in a minute. And then this drawer we won't open, it's just my underclothes. This drawer is my socks, which my goal is to have all hand knitted ones. Um, these are like, um, oh I can't think what they're called. You wear them underneath a skirt and stuff to keep it, leggings. These are leggings. And then there's t-shirts back here if I need to wear one underneath an outfit. And then down here, I have two pashminas, which are like a, a fabric type of shawl. I don't wear them very often. And these are like things that go like extra wallets and stuff to put into my pocketbook. Now we go back up on top of the dresser. These are my headscarves, and I just hooked my like bracelets that are, I don't know even what you call them, cuff bracelets I guess like this. I just hang them on there. I used to hang them up here, but I found that I was constantly bumping them and knocking them off. However, I do have like S hooks. I have S hooks, these things that I hang over the rod, and then like heavier necklaces go there. Then below that here, this is like perfume and hand creams and stuff like that, that I generally forget to use. And because of what we're doing right now, we've got rubber gloves and hand sanitizer. I have shawl pins in here, and this is how I I store my jewelry. This this is what I use for my jewelry boxes, and I've used them for several years. I actually, these are the like the containers you put your embroidery floss in, and then I just labeled what's in the box. Like um, this is silver necklaces, this is uh, pins, and you know so forth. Like you know like pearl looking things are over here and so I just pull out what I need. One has like gold colored stuff and one has silver colored stuff and the other is kind of like miscellaneous like seasonal things. And yeah that's my cheap, cheap jewelry uh, setup but I'll be honest I love it. I've used it for years and I wouldn't go back to anything. I haven't had any necklaces get tangled up since I've been doing this. Now I have three cabinets here. If I sound like I'm out of breath, I just climbed off of a stepladder because I was putting stuff up on the shelves. So this is the three drawer chest. This is from Ikea. I forget what it's called, but anyway, we've had it since we moved in here. And I have all of my short sleeve, like summer shirts in here. And then the second drawer 
is kind of empty, but this is like three quarter length shirts. And these three are three shirts that I've knitted that are summer weight. I wear all three of these like crazy. They are a bamboo and cotton blend. They're the same type of yarn. I love the things and I wear them all the time. And then down here is my long sleeved shirts. Now if you remember in last week's vlog, I had a shoe rack on the bottom for two pairs of shoes. I am not a shoe person. I think all total I probably have six pairs of shoes and that's about it. So um, yeah, I just I couldn't see taking up all that space. So I ordered this instead for like $14 or $15. And it's on wheels so I can roll it out as I need it. And on top I have this little box. This is just like cloth scarves. I don't wear them very often but once in a while. So I just put those there. These I these I thought I would show you because I did not show these to you in the fashion, fashion show. I forgot about them. And these are lace scarves that I have. So I'm going to turn around the camera so I can show them to you a little bit better. The first one, my head is cut off here, but I want you to be able to see the scarves. The first one is a lesson in do not do crazy wild variegated yarn and a lacy pattern because it really does not show up. I struggled with this project, I don't know how much, to try to get the pattern right. And you can't even tell because it's like really, really patterned yarn. You can see a little bit of it. And this is yarn that I dyed using Kool-Aid, believe it or not. And I finally, I think I finally got the smell out of it. So it does not smell like I am a walking Kool-Aid advertisement anymore. But it used to be you could smell grape when I wore it. But here is this one. It's very, very lightweight. Then this is what's called a Faroese shawl and they get that name because it has this center panel right here that runs the length of the shawl. And it is all the way down here. As you can see right through it, it is very, very lightweight. It's, it's not lace weight, but it's not a fingering weight either. It's very, very light. Like I said, you can see right through it. And the edges have this kind of scalloped effect. And this is cotton and it's a denim color. It's maybe not showing up well, but it's a denim color. I wear this thing like crazy. I love it. I've had it for quite a few years. And then I have my last one, which was my first lace attempt at um, doing a shawl of my own pattern. Well, the, the top part was an actual pattern and then the bottom I kind of created on my own. I've honestly thought about getting rid of it because there's, a, there's some holes in it. There's some definite mistakes. I was a fairly new knitter when I made this. Um, you can see a hole right here, right where my finger's at. There you can see it. So I do wear this sometimes if I'm wearing something sleeveless. I don't like my bat wings to show, so I'll throw this over top of it. But I've been seriously thinking about making a different one now that I'm a little bit more skilled at it. So let's take a look at what is in my new plastic bin. So in the first drawer here, I have shawls that are lightweight. They're not, um, they're shawls that I would not wear around my neck like the other ones I showed you. But these are ones that you would definitely wear around your shoulders, but they're not a heavy bulky weight. They're like fingering weight. So they would work for spring or for fall or even for like cooler summer evenings. Then this drawer here is for bulkier weighted stuff. Not, uh, they're heavier than fingering weight, but there's something that you would definitely wear in cooler weather. Not like kind of the in-between type of weather. Most of them are wool and they're just more like fall or early winter type of thing. And then down at the bottom, 
And then down on the bottom drawer, this is my bulky weight or definite heavy winter type of um, things like the, um, the big cowls that I made and my virus meets granny shawl. That's a heavier shawl. So, um, and this is, this is mohair and this is a very densely crocheted shawl. So that is in my bottom shelf or my bottom drawer. And that is my closet. And I finished all the painting that I showed the other day. It's done and thankfully it only took one coat, which we are grateful for. But I sure felt it the next day. I'm definitely not getting younger. Well, I finished working from home today. I put in about five hours and I have another meeting tomorrow which will give me another hour or so. So now I am listening to podcasts and working on some masks. I found some green material. So at least I have some manly material now instead of the flowered stuff. So, um, yep, I'm still waiting on my elastic coming in, but this particular material is a little, is a little lighter weight. So you can, so you can see I've got some straps here because I don't have much of the one inch elastic. So I'm going to use that for the heavier weight, which is over here. Here, there it is. That's more of this. There's some heavy weight. So I am going to be using this and making straps.